HMS Mersey, alongside the banks of the river she takes her name from. The river-class offshore patrol vessel is in Liverpool for five days. An opportunity for a company to spend time in the northern city, a welcome break from the intensity of the previous two months. This time last week, HMS Mersey was operating in the Baltic Sea. There it was taking part in exercises with Allied navies from across the Joint Expeditionary Force. The ship's visit to Liverpool got underway under prestigious circumstances in the company of Sefton Borough Council who awarded HMS Mersey the freedom of its streets. Collecting the award on behalf of his ship's company, the commanding officer provided councillors with an insightful history of the Royal Navy's connection with the city of Liverpool. The Royal Navy and Merseyside share a deep history dating back to the start of the 20th century before the outbreak of either world wars. For me, it's a great honour because not only am I the Mayor of Sefton, I got to do this as the Armed Forces Champion for Sefton. So the Armed Forces mean a lot to me. I'm a pad brat, so my dad was in the Armed Forces. And to be able to give this freedom to HMS Mersey is just such a great honour for me personally. Mersey sailed to Liverpool directly from patrols in the Baltic Sea. Back on board, Lieutenant Commander Mitchell told me about the deployment. So over the course of the last, you know, over the last two months, you know, Mersey was uh, deployed you know, to the Baltic Sea region, uh, operating under the umbrella of the Joint Expeditionary Force, which is a group of ten like-minded countries. A lot of it was spent training, uh, working and learning uh, from our partners and friends in the region, but also you know, spending periods at sea, you know, operating, conducting maritime security patrols. Uh, we've uh, integrated you know, with a number of, of, of navies, uh, in the region, but also you know, with our colleagues from the Royal Air Force as well. We had a maritime patrol aircraft uh, from one of the squadrons based up in Lossiemouth uh, who conducted a, a, a joint patrol with us, allowing us to, to, to share and build a maritime picture in the region. The ship's youngest sailor told me about his time on board. Joined the ship in Riga, in the uh, Latvia, uh, flew up there and then spent a couple of days in there and then moved to Lithuania and then come back to Liverpool. We'll see for about nine days coming to Liverpool. Tell me what it's like to be a 17 year old in the Royal Navy. It's a little bit weird because obviously everyone else just wants to have a like, walk to the pub and stuff like that and you have, to, you have to limit yourself, you still have to be switched on as best you can and people have got a couple of years experience but you still have to be as best you can to be as good as them sort of thing if that makes sense. While docked in Liverpool, Mersey is opening her decks to 600 members of the public a chance for the local community to get up close and personal with one of the city's adopted vessels. But what will they learn about HMS Mersey's place in the Royal Navy? So HMS Mersey is a batch one offshore patrol vessel. Uh, there's three of us in the class, so our sister ships are HMS Tyne and HMS Seven. Uh, we are the only one of the batch one class that is fitted with a transom flap, which gives us a slight speed advantage, and with a favorable uh, wind and tide, we can reach speeds of up to 21 knots. Even though we're, we're, we're a large patrol vessel, we, we very much see ourselves as a, as a small ship, you know, with a, a small ship's company. Uh, and, you know, one of the things that I, I say to the team on board is that we don't have passengers. We all work together, we all live together, and we all help each other out. And that creates a, a really close and tight bond, actually. Uh, you know, we work together, we live together, uh, and, and, and we go and, and play together as well. The ship's short deployment to the northwest marks the end of a busy start to spring. From here, she sails back to Portsmouth for a short period of maintenance. But as one of the Royal Navy's most deployed vessels, she averages 220 days at sea each year. It won't be long before her company are back on board and out on patrol. James Walton, Forces News, Liverpool. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.